All right, so we're back once again in Supermarket Simulator, and as you can see, I have a pretty well-stocked store. There's a couple, uh, I would say, shelves here or there uh, that I'm actually waiting on some new products. So if you look up, we're at level 41. We're going to get to 42 today, and that's going to unlock three new product licenses. Now, the only problem I see is, do I have enough shelf space? I mean, I've got some empty stuff here and there. Uh, in some of my sections, and I'm sure I can move some items around. Uh, I am a little concerned. Uh, maybe I do need to unlock the corner back there. Uh, that Maybe that'll be our focus. I, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that first in the product license. I just need my people to come in and give me all of your money. Uh, also, by the way, if you missed it, uh, we max upgraded our storeroom back here. Uh, got it somewhat sorted. I need another like set of shelves uh, here on the back side, but... Uh, I think it's going to be a really good episode here today because we're going to make tons of money and get tons of upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and just fill up some of these empty spots for now. It doesn't necessarily make sense, but I still don't have like a dedicated potato section. I mean, it's kind of behind or beside the powdered potatoes, so I guess that makes sense. All right, let's go put this back and let's make ourselves some money here today. Look at that, everybody's buying. You know, I actually looked at the Steam forums and I saw some neat ideas for some shelves. So, some people have been separating, say they do these back-to-backs, but they separate them just a little bit, and they fit one of these single coolers in the middle, almost like an end cap uh, that you see on certain shelves. Speaking of end cap, would an end cap... No, I wish we had a single one of these. I'd like to stick something at the end here. Uh, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna steal this fridge real quick. Does this work? I mean, it kind of works if you were to stick fridges at the ends. Maybe that's what we should do instead of expanding today. Which, I mean, we're gonna need to do it, but it's gonna be like $20,000. I could... Oh no, the game's being picky about where I'm sticking this. Because the one thing I noticed that the game does, like, sometimes you can stick stuff... Like, watch, this is gonna be off now. Oh, this is gonna bug me. Uh, come on, right there. Look, it's off. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm not gonna look at that. Maybe I'll move that one. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would like to see some variety in the shelf sizes. I, I'm actually not opposed to sticking a couple fridges that might actually help us instead of like expanding, which I'm going to have to do it at some point. But maybe we'll do that. That way we can get the new products in. I don't know if you could fit them over here. I mean, we could move these shelves out a little bit. Uh, let's go order some furniture here. I, I want to do some decorating. All right, I might as well go ahead and finish the shelves in my storeroom. Um, yeah, I don't understand how we don't have a like a shelf B, which is like a single shelf. Uh, I feel like that would be actually really, really good to have. Uh, I just spent like 2000 on on uh, shelves here. All right, so let's go stick these down in our storeroom because we need to start this anyway. Uh, we're just going to stick these up against the back wall for now. I'll, I'll reorganize all this in a bit. I did want to try on for size what a freezer will look like at the end of these. You know, it's not bad. I, I prefer like a normal style shelf, like an end cap. But you know what? I, I think I'm okay with this. So what I think I'm going to have to do though here, let's just stick this, repack it, put it down in here. I think I need to move these shelves this way, just a hair. So I'm talking something like this. Uh, that way we could stick stuff on both ends. I, it might crowd the store a little bit, but I, I don't think it's going to be that bad. All right, so I think I gave ourselves a little bit of room there. We're running out of stock right now. Uh, man, this uh, grind of 42, it's taken a little bit. I we, We're going to make it this episode. Hold on, what about these? How do these look? I don't think these are necessarily bad. So if I were to stick one of these, they kind of do fit on like an end cap. Which, by the way, that's what they call, like, the ends of, like, shelves and stores. So, like, you'll have your normal shelves, and then you'll have, like, an end. Uh, it's like a cap here. A lot of times, it's morally like a traditional shelf. But, I mean, I guess it could be freezers. This, honestly, it doesn't look better. Refrigerators. I do have freezers, too. Maybe we'll put freezers on one end, and then refrigerators on the other. Uh, I think that'll actually look pretty decent. So yeah, like say here, I mean, you could even put a shelf on the end of it. The freezer pokes out a little bit, but I don't, I don't think that's actually bad. I, I think that's pretty decent. Okay, and we're gonna stick this one here. Hey, watch out, and boom. We've officially bought ourselves some space here. Uh, I might need to condense the cleaning down. Actually, I need to look at the products that are gonna be coming in, but I, I don't think that necessarily looks bad. I actually kind of like it. I, I kind of like the ends here. If we could put little signs that hang from the ceiling or, like, maybe clip onto the end of the shelves, uh, that'd be great just to show the aisle number, which obviously I don't have, like, a huge uh, store here, so you have, like, two actual aisles. But once we get, like, a Walmart-sized store, 
Like, I feel like we're gonna need that. All right, the uh, customers are finishing up. We won't hit 42 today. Maybe by the end of tomorrow, I'll be level 42. I'm gonna do some stock in here. I got quite a bit in the storeroom. Uh, I'm gonna leave these new shelves empty, though. I, I wanna use those solely for new stock. All right, I can finally organize this a little bit more. So I was gonna stick cleaners on the back wall. I had them somewhat organized here. Uh, it's, I'm gonna go ahead and start stocking. I just wanna show you guys how this is gonna work in my store. Uh, so yeah, cleaners, anything cleaners, anything that goes on the body, shampoo, stuff like that are gonna be along the back wall here. And then I'm gonna do food in the middle. And then I think we're gonna do drinks on probably the, uh, we'll call it this first shelf over here. So I'll probably have to expand it out. Uh, but I think we'll have organization. Also, I did visit the forums. A lot of people are asking for the labels to be on the side or the pictures. Uh, so hopefully that's, I mean, maybe even by the time this video comes out, that might already be a thing, but hopefully that is a thing soon because that would be a very, very good quality of life uh, update. So yeah, I'm going to go in here and just kind of deplete uh, certain items uh, in my storeroom. And then, yeah, from here on, we're going to sort it uh, and it's going to look amazing. You know what? Another thing I'd like to see, I'd like to see a trash can. Like uh, you got the one that's outside, but I like to see one that would like be close. Uh, to the like maybe even inside the store in the the storeroom or maybe even like a corner uh, in the main area that way you can throw stuff away a little bit quicker uh, I feel like that'd be a good item to add to the game okay we are open once again uh, gonna try to grind away come on level 42 by the end of the day maybe I'm gonna go ahead and just keep stalking while this is happening because yeah it might as well I mean uh, might run out a couple items, but you got to keep it rolling here. I, I need to get the level up. I tell you what, the chicken and the freaking toilet paper. Actually, toilet paper is not the worst. Uh, it's really the chicken potatoes are like the worst things to try to keep in stock at my store. By the way, we're almost there. Uh, we're creeping up. I, I think by the end of the day or the very first of tomorrow, I we will definitely be at the level we need to be. So I'm going to order. Actually, I think I need to order some steaks. I saw that was getting pretty empty. I uh, didn't have any in the storeroom there. But yeah, I got a big order of chicken and potatoes here and a couple other small items. Uh, it's just, they're so hard to, like, keep stock. You'd almost have to have, like, a gigantic, dedicated, like, chicken area. Which, I mean, that's possible. I just wish you could stack them a little bit more. Like, maybe, I don't know, somehow get eight. I know it'd look weird if they were stacked on top of each other, but I feel like they just, they take up too much space. And you don't make a ton of money on them. So they're not like a huge money maker for your business. So it's kind of like one of those things like, do I really even want to stock this at the moment? I mean, some people might say, no, obviously I, I want to try to get max points. Uh, it's kind of hard to do sometimes. Uh, but uh, I think for the most part, we're doing a good job. I mean, you might see some complaints here and there. So I think somebody just complained about some uh, pricing on, it might have been the light coffee. I'll have to check the market. I've been pretty good about actually keeping up with the market prices and trying to make them fairly competitive. But you don't always get around to everything here. All right, let's get some veal back up in here. There we go. Okay, we got lines. I mean, all three cashiers are busy. It looks like maybe they're, oh, what was that? Couldn't find, oh, I'm out of Parmesan. Really? Oh my goodness. You know, we are gonna need that corner section. Should we go ahead and just buy it? Even though I just bought these like end cap things, which those are good too, but I, I feel like I need to commit to it. It's going to be $20,000. It would delay me buying the license, though. So it's like, a, do I do this or do I do that moment? All right, you know, we're going to buy the license first. But I, I feel like if I can afford it by the end of this episode, well, I probably won't be able to because I got to buy all the new products with the license. But next episode, we got to unlock that corner. Uh, and then we'll buy probably, I'm going to guess, another couple shelves. We'll make probably a short aisle here. Uh, expand our refrigeration section down to the end. And then maybe add at least two more freezers. I don't know. Maybe we won't need the freezers here. Uh, I've been talking about it. Let's look at those product licenses. What are we dealing with here? Oh my goodness. These are $5,600. Okay. We are not going to expand out. I'm going to spend all my money on these. So it looks like we got some cleaners. So I got some sections open there. Uh, you got some ham and ham pastry. I'm not sure what a ham pastry is. Is that like a croissant with ham in it? There's a lot of sodas. I noticed that. <sighs> Ooh, shelving might be... That might be a bit of an issue. Maybe I should try an in-cap shelf. Uh, it's just... It's too wide. It would poke out too far. I actually just need more shelves in general. Hold on. What, what can I move here? Uh, I can move this computer once again and stick a shelf back there because I feel like I'm going to need to. And then maybe we'll move our cleaning section back. 
And then we'll put some food in. So we'll say cleaning section. You know, the cleaning section was actually over here not too long ago. Uh, can I fit another shelf over here? By the way, look at how close we are to level 42. Oh, the door is in the way. I wish we could close that door. Like, even if it was just an opening. Like, I don't know if the door is necessary. Okay. Uh, I got an idea. So I'm just going to move everything over here. So beer section, this will go back kind of towards the refrigeration section, which makes sense. Uh, it'll probably eventually make its way all the way back to the corner. And then we'll stick this here. This is my beer and cake section because that totally makes sense. Uh, so we'll stick that there. And then I can move some aisles over. So let's move this over a little bit here. Uh, this one here. Like, I am trying to maximize the space that I have here. The limited space. Uh, okay, so can I stick this like this? No, it's going to have to move over even further. Uh, I'm trying to squeeze in, like, one more shelf if possible. Uh, I'd like to buy one because I, I did see quite a few products that are going to be on shelves. Oh, yeah, I got room for one more here. Nice. All right, I'm going to end the day. I'm just going to open straight up tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about too much stocking. Uh, that way we can get the level, we'll get the license, and then we'll have to do, like, a grand stocking. Okay, check this out. I got a new shelf here. I'm actually going to move these back. Uh, try to keep the cleaning together, so this will go back over uh, here somewhere. And then uh, let me squeeze in this new shelf. This guy is like shopping off the shelves that are, aren't even there anymore. It's fine. All right, so we're going to squeeze this one in here. And then now we can move these kind of back with it. Uh, there and here. There we go. That looks good. Uh, can I have a dead corner here? Uh, I could stick the computer back there. Uh, we'll hold off on that for now. Uh, this will be fun. Hold on, let's get them lights on. There we go. Looking beautiful here. All right, let's shop. Get me to level 42, please. Oh, there it goes. Level 42. All right, everybody, get the heck out of here. I'm closing down. I got to stock this thing. We got to get the new products. I don't want people depleting my other stock uh, because I'm going to get way too far behind. So it's worth it not to be open today. Uh, so we're going to go to management. Let's go to license. Let's go purchase, purchase, and purchase. Oh, man. I don't even know if 4000 will do it. I don't actually... I'm trying to stay away from loans. I had people tell me, it's like, I'm level, you know, such and such. And I've only taken out, like, one loan. And I was like, I kind of felt kind of bad. I was like, something went wrong somewhere. But let's check this out on. Uh, get rid of the search there. Let's search for potatoes. Mmm, what do we got here? Let's go down to the bottom. I guess it puts everything down at the bottom on the new ones. Uh, it is going to be a lot of product here. So we got, those are big bleach areas. You got cleaners, dish soap. It looks like a detergent, dishwasher tablets, toilet. There's a new toilet paper. It's like a, a recycled one. Uh, and then we have a medium roast coffee. Oh my goodness. There's so much. You know what's funny is I don't see a lot of freezer items, I, if any at all. Like, it's all fridge and shelf right now. Lots of cleaners. Uh, we have prosciutto. I like prosciutto. It's good. Okay, well, here we go. Let's order. I'm going to get try to get two of everything here uh, to start with, and then we'll see where we are. Oh, we even have ground beef. That was something that was like, man, why don't we have ground beef? Uh, that was definitely something we were missing. So we got that now. A ton of new sodas. So those little end cap refrigerators are going to be great. I might have to add more of those, uh, to be honest with you. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be a nightmare. There's going to be so many boxes out there. Uh, also, like I said, probably going to order two more fridges. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be fun. You guys want to see what a nightmare looks like? Hold on, let me let me put this one away. I'm going to pack this one up. Uh, we'll use this later. Uh, look at all these boxes. <laughs> uh, this is going to be great. All right, so what I want to do. Uh, I got one of these fridges here, which I'm going to place this back. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Okay, so we'll use that. Uh, I'll keep this freezer here. We should have enough to start stocking these new products. Uh, time is accelerating right now because the whole fact that I did open up today. So toilet paper needs a section. I need to get rid of the candy from the toilet paper section. I know it doesn't make sense. Uh, I will fix that. Uh, we got a new brand of coffee, which... Oh, man, my coffee section was already kind of full, too. I got to remember to set prices on these. So here's some of the new sodas. This is like a... Is that orange? It looks like it's orange, but the soda itself looks red. But the label looks like it'd be like an orange. Uh, that is $2.60. We'll go $3 on this one. Uh, I'll get this stocked. So they're going to put a lot of the new stuff, which is mostly drinks, on the end caps. And then I'll try to, like, maneuver the... 
uh, the meat section around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be stalking pretty much all night. I mean, uh, time is going to stop at 9, but still. Uh, this looks like a detergent to me. So, obviously, just in this cleaning, that's dishwashing. So, I've got another dishwashing cleaner. So, let's go with a detergent right here. Uh, is that what it says? Ultimate green power. I don't even understand what you are, but we're going to... It says cleaner. I'm going to say detergent. Uh, we'll go 850 on it. There we go. It's another one of those things where you can't stick a ton of them on your shelf, so I imagine they're going to run out pretty quick. This is another bleach, so we'll stick this above the other little smaller bleaches that we have. Uh, let's go see what we can charge for those. those that's a big container of bleach. Uh, it's 690, so we'll go 775. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I got something new here. It kind of... What is this? Uh, people were great about answering it last time, like the other things I had questions about. It, to me, it looks like a crepe that's, like, stuffed with something, but I have no clue. <laughs> like, uh, it kind of looks good. I'd probably eat it. All right, let's keep stocking new products here. We are going to fill the store. Oh, well, I say we're going to fill the store. I don't have much more money, so if there's stuff that's out, I'm probably not going to be able to fill it. All uh, right, here we have a Tropico. Oh, it says Ropico. Uh, it's like a pink soda, so maybe like a pink lemonade, or actually it looks like a bunch of little fruit flavors, like an apple... Raspberry, blueberry. That sounds kind of delicious. We'll go four dollars on this. We have another soda. This looks like it might be either orange or mango. I think this one's actually orange. All right. Oh, there's so many sodas to deal with here. I mean, it's realistic. Uh, three dollars on this one, I think, will be fine. Okay, we got another one of those items. This one looks like it's eggs and ham, uh, and maybe cheese. Uh, we're gonna stick that there. I'm gonna have to redo the refrigeration section. This is ooh chicken legs. That's a that's a good meat. Uh, that'll go probably near if I don't know if I have any other chicken products Well, we got the big frozen chickens probably go near like the meats. Uh, this is like a generic cleaner Which I really would like to stick it next to this other one here. I've got the shelf space on this one screwed up a little bit uh, I, I don't think I have an empty box to take I should probably keep one of every box in the back that way if I want to reorganize stuff uh, We'll get back to that here in a second. This is it says what is that? Is it say black? Uh, I'm trying to read the label on this. It just says soda. It looks almost like a root beer. It's pretty cheap. Three twenty-five. Uh, we'll set that. It's got a, got a good profit margin. Two dollars and fifty-five cents per uh, item there. That's not bad. There's another box of cleaners. We got a new style of sugar here. Uh, it's bio sugar. I don't understand what that is. Maybe it looks like sugar in the raw. So you have like that really processed white sugar. And then you have a sugar here. It also kind of looks like a brown sugar, too, like a light one. So it could also be that. It'll go $7 on that. I uh, got that in the correct spot, I feel like. Okay, this is definitely a dish detergent here. Uh, let's go and stick these up here. We're going to set a price on them. Uh, it feels like the right spot. So, oh, my goodness. It's close to $16 on the market. Let's go $17. Uh, i get a $6 in profit. Let's check the price on these. This is still fair, too. All right, so uh, if I got other boxes, I might stick it below it. Okay, we got ground beef. I'm going to stick that in the floor until I figure out the rest of the stock there. More of this coffee that needs to be stocked. Uh, it's a medium roast. So now we have a medium light and a, uh, a, I guess, a dark. I think there is a dark roast. Yeah, that's a dark roast there. Uh, this appears to be, like, dishwashing soap. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this below here. Uh, and the market price on that $6. We'll go $7 a bottle on that. All right, so that section is feeling pretty appropriate as far as the products. They're all kind of grouped together uh, in, a, I would say, a sensible manner. Okay, I'm currently cleaning out parts of the drink section. I'm actually moving them over to some of the end caps. Uh, that way I can make a, a decent size meat section uh, on the back wall there. I'll set that right there. I might need that box. Uh, this is prosciutto, so we'll clear out that area. I'm still working on that. Uh, we'll have that nice and clear. I actually, I think I'm saying prosciutto wrong. It doesn't have a lot more emphasis on it. Is that, that, maybe that's prosciutto. Wait, what is this? That might, oh, that's sliced, it said sliced ham on I'm stupid. Yeah, that's prosciutto, that's sliced ham. I'm going to say that prosciutto looks like it has no fat in it, but that's because it's ham. Uh, ham typically only has like a, like an outer like fat ring on it. There we go. Okay, yeah, I know somebody was probably already typing up a comment going, Komodo, that's that's not right at all. Like, what are you doing? It's okay, I make mistakes. Actually, I make quite a few mistakes, uh, if I'm being honest. Okay, we got the green toilet paper. We're going to stick that in there. Uh, that's got to cost more than the standard one, right? Oh, my goodness. It's uh, almost $18. 
Uh, I can go eighteen fifty, I think, on this. I give it a profit of seven sixty per, uh, I guess, item sold there. That's pretty good. And then I got another one. I'm gonna go ahead and shove up here. It's gonna be hard to keep those in stock, but uh, they look good on the shelf at least. Uh, I gotta work on the meat section now. This is gonna be a bit challenging here to get this how I exactly want it. Uh, I still think I need to move a couple things around. I'm gonna go search for some boxes. Uh, that I can use in here that I know oh on I need chocolate on the shelf Yeah, I think I can reuse this box here. Let me try to get my chocolate move or my candy moved over Where do I move it to? Uh, do I have I guess I could put it on the bottom shelves up here. No, this this makes sense uh, Let's stick some down there I'm gonna get it away from all this other stuff because I can fit some other I got that cleaner over here that I, I wasn't sure what to do with so let's do candies here there we go. That looks pretty good. And then we had this new cleaner here. So I want to go ahead and get this on the shelf here. It actually looks like a bug spray. It just says cleaner, but it's definitely a bug spray. Let's go 1050 on it. And let's get one more bit of uh, supply of that up here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to keep the sushi fridge stocked. The sushi fridge is always busy, so I don't want to mess with it. Probably take some of these items off. It's going to be a little mixed up right now until I get it fully how I want it. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to stick some of these new products here. Uh, ideally, I'll have like my own like meat only section, which would be like your veal, your steaks, your ground beef. Which, by the way, this is the ground beef here. Uh, I'm gonna stick it in here. I'm gonna move the salmon around uh, a little bit. Ooh, the ground beef that stacks up nice. Uh, market price eight fifty two. We'll go ten dollars on this one. See if we can get away with that. Some people might find that a bit expensive. Uh, I'm gonna move some of these other meats around a bit. We're gonna make this work. It's just gonna it's gonna take a little bit. It might be a little stuffed, uh, a little bit on the weird side, but uh, I got this. Not gonna lie, this has been a mostly an episode about stocking, but I mean, you guys seem to like stuff like that, so I think we're good there. All right, refill that uh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Where can I put the chicken at right now? Ooh, uh, can I remove what box size is that? I wish I had the right box to remove some of that other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to just kind of toss the chicken out right now. So chicken's gonna go over here. Uh, so that's chicken legs. They look to be almost like they're pre-cooked. Uh, we'll go six dollars on those. There we go. We're about to go ahead and open the store here in a sec just to try to get some stuff rolling. Uh, cause yeah, I gotta get make a little bit more money. Um, I have, you know. I'm going to have to move certain items. We're going to have to do some meats at the ends here. Uh, I forgot I had some of this space open. So this will be the... This is the prosciutto. Which prosciutto I think is fairly expensive. Let's see. I got 825 on that. I thought it was a little bit more expensive than that. Apparently not though. I'm going to condense my salmon down a little bit. Okay, let's get some of his ham on the shelf. There we go. Sliced ham looking pretty good. Yo, we actually have lasagna here. Huh? Let's start sticking this on the shelf. That one, okay, that one shouldn't have a price on it. Uh, that's gonna be, uh, that's a nice little product there. How much can I charge for that? Oh my goodness, that's like fifteen fifty nine. dollars I'd probably go, let's try 17 bucks there on that one. It's $5 in profit. It's kind of weird how some of the skewing works as far as the price and, like, your profit. Uh, let's go ahead and stick this out. This is the thing that kind of looks like a crepe to me. Uh, $10.56, we'll go $12 on it. Uh, $5.19 for profit. So yeah, it's... Still not the most organized thing in the world, but I mean, it, it's going to work for now until I clear out some stock and I'll be able to come back in. Yeah, sure. We're going to go ahead and stick some ground beef with our uh, drinks over here just so we can have it in stock. I only have one shelf in the meat section uh, with that on it right now. Okay, it is the next day. Hold on, let's get our lights on. We got a fairly stocked store. It's a little like weird here. I've got some sections open. Uh, oh, I need to get some apple juice. I'm going to move my juices over to the far left. And I think I might swap. No, I don't think I'm going to swap the beer fridge. I'm, actually, I could put it closer to the other product. Uh, I'm going to try to clear out a couple of these later so I can have proper, like, meat sections. Uh, so we're going to work on that, honey. Huh? Get some more normal Coke or wherever the heck this kind of soda is. Uh, let's put this here. And I'm going to put a little bit more in the uh, the newer fridge. Uh, I think I'm missing one of the waters right now. Do I have water in stock back here? I got milk. Uh, there's my apple juice. I need some of this. There we go. Get that nice and stocked up there. I mean, it's looking good. We sell a wide variety of products. A little bit more shelf space would be great. Uh, so I need to save up about $20,000 to expand. We'll unlock that corner. The next food items do not come out until level 52. 
So it's going to be a little bit. I'm going to play a little off camera. Uh, play some on camera because I, I want to mix up trying to expand the store because we have so many products. Look, the stupid green toilet paper is already gone. I had quite a bit of it over there. And that's what's going to make it really hard to like keep up with certain things. Like You're going to have to have almost like a, an aisle all the way down full of like toilet paper. Like just to try to keep it in stock for one shift. Uh, that's how crazy it is. People get in here and they just start uh, pulling stuff off the shelf. It's pretty awesome. But I think our objective here is to make money. They're going to complain. There's going to be certain things that are not in stock. I'll keep trying to run in and out of my stock rooms here uh, to put stuff that might be out. But I'm going to refrain from actually buying anything today. Uh, that way I can get a good look at the inventory tonight. Uh, once it's done. So I'm going to try to just deplete my stock room right now. I'm going to just shove this over here. There's only one of those left. What do y'all think? Uh, pretty good store? I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's definitely, if you look at it from like the first episode to now, uh, it's just a whole lot different. Uh, what am I going to stick in here? Oh, I need to order chicken. No, I've got chicken. Uh, got pizzas, got crab sticks, got some french fries left. I have tons of pizzas. Uh, so I have to figure out what to put in there. Probably just put more chicken. I, I do need to order some toilet paper. Order a whole bunch more of the, the new butt paper here. There we go. Uh, stuff's flying off the shelves. Everybody likes the environmental friendly. Like, like is it softer or is it going to be like harder? Like, I like soft toilet paper. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't like soft toilet paper. They're like the worst thing when you go into like a restaurant. Especially if you go into like a really nice restaurant that's expensive, which I don't really do very often. But if, if it happens... If they don't have nice toilet paper, I'm like, well, what are you even spending the money on here? Like, uh, I like some nice, soft toilet paper, just in case I need to. I'm not saying that I poop in every restaurant. Uh, that's uh, getting a little personal there, but uh, yeah, I, I like really, really soft toilet paper. All right, spend money. We got two more hours in the shift here. Uh, people are buying stuff like crazy. Uh, they're buying a lot of the new products, which is nice. Like I said, it seems like when you get stuff like that on your shelf, all of a sudden it becomes like super popular and it's hard to keep the new items uh, off or uh, stocked in the shelf. Uh, I don't know if that's a thing or if it, maybe it's just something I noticed since I have the new items, I'm paying more attention to those. Uh, but this looks good. Uh, people are complaining, but I mean, we're making a ton of money right now. I uh, should be able to build back up really, really quick. Oh yeah, look at that. Empty shelves. Empty everything off real quick. That way I can reorganize all this. Keep buying. Keep buying. I don't care about the complaints. Just empty my store for me. Uh, I think I'm going to refuse to stock. Except for stuff that I know, like, obviously this is a drink fridge. I can go stock this. That's not moving. But other items like that back shelf where all the new coffees are, I got to figure that out. By the way, I did stick some of this out. I don't know if I pointed this out. Uh, fourteen twenty-five for that light roast. Uh, or, no, that's a medium, isn't it? Yeah, that's a medium. The light roast is this one, and then the dark's up there. Pretty expensive coffee. Uh, 14 bucks a bag? That better be some really fresh stuff. Yeah, like, we've been closed, but there's lines on every cash register right now. So, keep doing the thing. Keep making me money. And you know what? We're going to see you guys next time on Supermarket Simulator.